I'm gonna ask you though. Nah, bro, you good. You sure? Yeah. I wanted to see that. Nah, you good, bro. You sure? Yeah, you good. All right, good, good. Welcome back to the ANA podcast. Speak your truth for real people, real conversations. I'm definitely gonna ask you, like my Adrian said. So, you know, you know who it is. Your boy Anthony, eighty-five. Mr. Don't Call Me Nothing. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take, right. take that title. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know who it is. A.T. Adrian. Nah. Yeah, we back. We another back. episode. For another episode. Um, so, this is going to be, you know, obviously the year is now finally winding down. The longest, shortest, longest year. I don't like Impactful, eventful Bro, year of the, our life. Yeah. Yeah? Very pivotal. Uh, 2020. You know, we've, we've talked about it, we mentioned 2020 a couple of times in, you know, our right, series of... Definitely, like, the first episode, yeah. we had to talk about that. Like, but, I mean, hey, like, this year has been, it's been one. It's so. something you, it's, <laughs> some, it's like, it's like you cannot not talk about right. it. Right, you know, but, hey. Yes. hey. That's why we're doing this episode. So, basically, what we're going to be doing, so this episode is going to be... This is a recap of 2020, what impacted us, how we look back on the reflection, impactfulness, and then we're going to drop another episode right Friday. Friday. Another one. Another one. Another Very one. soon. Another one. And that's going to be basically on 2021. So right. we're going to be looking into kind of just, you know, piggybacking. So it's this kind of like a, you know, a, a bonus, not bonus, but like a two for one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Two for one. Yeah, this is the conclusion of this year. And the next episode is gonna be the intro to 2021, talking about manifestation. But we ain't gonna get into it. But it's coming coming like that. It's coming very soon. Coming like that. So look out for it. So boy, y'all y'all get two in one week. Um well kinda two one this year and then one next year. So is Friday next year, next week, or next month, or the next day? Uh, all the above. All the above. I think. I yeah. think Friday's ne- well, was next year. Next year. It's the next year. Uh, but I mean, today's third. To, uh, New Year's is New Year's mm-hmm. Thursday. You know. Forget it. Never mind. Anyway. Never mind. Anyway. Um. So, but, but so sticking on to twenty twenty right now. You know, let's go into a little personal reflection. Um. Honestly, for me, twenty twenty man, it was just a year of like growth. You know. Uh. Even starting in the beginning of 2020 and you know when things were you know normal uh <laughs> normal <laughs> you know uh this feel like it was my, it was our sophomore year of basketball and you know for me personally you know it was that step up you know had some guys leave um you know and then you know roles had to change for a little bit for in order for us to you know you know take us to, to excuse me i can't really speak out but i love talking about this it's basketball it's my love but um yeah you no know, we had to step up into roles you know me and you know a couple other guys you know it was our time, uh, and it was just kind of, you know, I kind of, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't there yet, but you know, I, I kind of, you know, felt myself. You, you know, got there. Feel, I got there. You got you know, there. I got so there, and I, and, I, and I had to, you know, feel. I felt fulfilled that, you know, it's, it's about it's my time to really come up. You know, and I was, you know, for me, you know, as in this basketball perspective, it was just, you know, I, I've never been, you know, the main focus per se, or I, I never, you know, in game one right. of roles, man. Chill, right? Too. See, but that happened though. That happened for me, and you know, it was my first, you know, game time buddy. You know, close. You know what I'm saying? In a, in a really hostile, you know, big Double overtime. Double overtime. Double overtime. It was, it was lit. It was a lit game, and you know, I just, for me, I just felt that growth within me, just on in the basketball court, where you know, it was like, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm I, I came on the bench at the beginning of the year, but I ended up starting, and you know, from there, just like wow, like I'm, I just keep wanting to, you know, grow as far as that. So that's why I keep saying, you know, I gotta prove something to people. Growth, growth. That's, and then I even put it on my 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 tape, my highlight tape. You know, year two growth. That's just what it was for me in my sophomore year of basketball. It was just not me finally starting to take that step up, you know. And I was hoping, you know, junior year. Um, you know, that would have been that. That would have been the next leap. Oh my God! I was so I was it's so chill. excited. I was so that's, ready. That's ring talk. I was trying to get a ring, man. That's ring talk. That was the goal, and I kept I kept pushing myself in my mind. You know, I got certain goals I wanted to do, and I'm still I still have them. So by the time the time if you know, you know that we can start you know doing that rock again, play up and down, all that you know. Hopefully, mm-hmm. I'm like that's my goal to make sure I, I ain't losing I ain't losing a step, and it's just time to you know continue to put my foot on the gas for real. I feel that. Yeah. Um. So 2020 for me, I guess, ever going back into the basketball aspect, um, it was definitely another growth year for me. Um, it was growth year for me as well. Um, just coming, 
basically from freshman and then starting as a freshman and then being that all right now you're he's the nice. guy he's nice um but then being the guy like all right and he was my best player come on man anyways come on i was a wing i was initially a wing i played a three two three four whatever you play i got you but i don't really play the one when coach going hit me up talking about for the one, you know, obviously we kind of not. I don't want to beat you. We don't want to beat y'all up, but you know, we gotta talk about it. You know, what I'm saying? that's that's all little But the one point guard, I mean, he's running the running the show, man. Um. So yeah. So, <laughs> so basically, coach in the middle of the he's season, in the middle of the season, told me, look, we need you to play point guard. Uh, I don't really have any prior experience playing a point guard in high school. I, I guess you can call it a point guard, but we didn't have a point guard. It was just. I mean, it was no, tough. It was just, yo, go get a yeah, bucket. Go get a bucket. But now it was like college, so structure. You really got to run the one. So I guess that growth-wise in the basketball court was just learning, like just proving myself right that, look, you're good. You can really do this. So I guess that was it for me. That's all right. What about mentally, like outside of basketball? <laughs> like it still sticks with the same thing. It just means just growth, you know. Uh, because like when the pandemic hit, for example, right, it just, it kind of put, it, it put a lot of people, you know, in a place where it's like, damn, now you only, all you can do is think for like, no funnies, like you just, all you can do is think and you know, cause you, things are closed, all that, we can get into details, we've been getting into details, but, um, you know, so you just gotta sit there and like, you know, you have the time to like really learn about yourself, you know, learn, you know, things that you, what, what you want to do, you know, think how you're going to go about it. Um, you know, even just even within yourself, like as far as, you know, how you feel sometimes, like what bothers you, you know, what, what is it that you're really looking for? Cause we didn't talk about relationships. So, you know, I feel like I've talked, we said it before, like, I mean, I feel like a lot of people kind of settled in this pandemic because, you know, it's kind of self-reflection, you know, I feel loneliness, but you know, for me, like, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that that's, if that's for you, you know, kind of, but it happened, I've seen it. I, I'm not going to just sit here talking about nothing, but, um, yeah, for me, it's just like, you know, I had to really, okay, you know, I'm, I'm taking my time. I got to, like, really understand what it is that, you know, I'm going to be, you know, or, like, I ain't going to lie, being around, like, are you kind of, you not using people, for example, but, like, when I'm around, I'll be, like, for y'all, example, like, I know, I know there's certain things that I, I, I like, and I just certain things I don't like, or, like, think, like, how I would carry a certain situation. Like, that's just, mm -hmm. that's, that's what really what happened for me in 2020, so it's just the fact also, you know, uh, like we ended up in this house now together, you know, that means I moved out of my mom's house for the, you know, to finish out with school out here for the next couple of years. And, you know, it was just like, I really, that's me taking that, you know, that step in growth where I'm just like, now, like, okay, now I got bills to pay. I got, you know, I got to go get up for work. You know, we got, still got school, still trying to hope, you know what I mean? It's just learning how to start to balance a whole lot of things I want to do. Yeah, a lot on your plate. You know, so, but I, I like challenges like that. I gotta embrace it, you know what I'm saying? Cause that, you know, Definitely. nobody wants to take the easy way out. I don't want to take the easy way out. I can't speak very well, but I don't want to take it. No grown ass man should want a handout. At all. At all. Get out of the mud. Let's just, you know, figure it out. I mean, it's, it's just facts. And um, but see, the thing is though, it's also, I want to talk about kind of like handouts, but like, not just brought it up. Mm -hmm. First of all, yeah, no, I, you don't need a handout, but I feel like, you know, when help is provided to you, like there's resources for you to have. Like I feel like people kind of deflect those because they have them and tell me I don't need a handout. I mean, there's a difference between a handout and help. And all right, not even help, but like even advice. Like yeah, exactly. That's what I'm even saying. advice isn't advice is not a handout. A handout is like, look, I already have this set up here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Advice is like, look, this might work, this might not, but just stay strong. This, yeah. that, the third. That is not a handout. And even a little bit of help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Because right. that's why some people don't make it. But you just got to really want it. So, so if somebody said, so I kind of like also stay in the on handouts real quick. You know, I don't want really to say like calling this a handout per se. But like, let's say, you know, when it's, when it's our time, like really into that field, you know, we're trying to work and stuff. I feel like if somebody, if somebody has a job that you can do, I mean, I wouldn't look at it as a handout. It's just like, I feel like people, that's somebody saying what you can do for them or like or even for a company for example you know just what you can do for them and how you'll benefit out of it you know what i'm saying that's where you know that's where networking comes in you know find, like making sure you know the right people especially in certain things that you want to do um so it's just like you know why yeah. not why not just you know have somebody to have your back for something because 
the more friends you make, well, I want to say friends, but the more people you come across, that's more. There's more chances you'll get mm. into being put into yeah. different positions and things that you feel like you can be successful in. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, well, let's get back into 2020. So, of course, January. Kobe. Kobe. Uh, got us. Got us here. Kobe. Kobe. Um, February. I'm in February. I mean, that's when things like it still felt normal. Yeah, things were still and cool. then March, that's when it shit the fan. Everything just did. Hey, COVID just shook the whole room up. Oh, remember, we, we was in school, it was like, all right, look, spring break, you gonna go, but you might not come back. I was like, like what? Huh? I'm talking about you ain't gonna come back. <laughs> I'm talking about All right. Yeah, we, we ain't gonna ever get this. <laughs> we ain't gonna, gonna get go. it for the rest of the year. Like, damn. Like, it just hit. Like, damn, it hit. Because I remember when COVID, like, first hit, just like, it was just like, hey, what do we do? Exactly. Like, what do you do now? You're, just, you're sitting there thinking. Okay. And definitely at first, I thought it was like, oh, you step out the house, it's fence right there. <laughs> That's what I thought it was like martial law. Right, when, like, they put the, when they put the, yeah, the curfew out, like people was like, I ain't gonna lie though, bro. I seen some drones. Hey, look, hey, look, hey, I'm talking about it. I just mentioned it. So if they, if somebody could snatch me up, man, y'all know what happened. I'm just uh, I'm just uh, but no, I seen I seen some seen some drones outside. Though. Drones? Bro, I seen drones, bro. I swear to God. Me and my look, look, I lied in lie. It was some dudes in my head the group chat. Uh, one of the group chats I'm in. And it was just like, yeah, there's some drones outside and then it's like, y'all talking about. So I looked dope. out there, seen some red dots like blinking. I was like, oh shit. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was so like, dude. It was dead for me, bro. It was dead. They had they had me. Yeah. They obviously didn't watch Black Mirror. <sighs> Obviously, obviously, did not watch what Black if, Mirror. What if twenty twenty was just season six of Black Mirror? Yo, yo, so don't put tweet. that in the air. But then, but then, but then, the but then, I, then I kind of put the rest of my mind at ease, knowing okay, well, this is the show. <laughs> nah, but Black Mirror, it was it's wild, but a lot of things that are popping up is starting to be very similar oh, to yeah. that. Oh yeah, I know, I know. So it was like, mm. yeah. One thing about technology, I feel like technology now is is good like i don't feel like it needs to improve i feel you any better because everything's smart yeah like it's good we don't need nothing more because now it's going to get to points where robots and then you're going to see ro- drones well, robots well, everywhere and yeah. people will be, be so lazy it, it's going to be like literally showed on wally yeah wally literally showed what will happen if we just just keep improving our technology and we ain't gonna listen but uh what month we at april April was another like you know, yeah, month. Kind of yeah. that's when you know brainstorm the podcast, y'all. Then May, you know May, kind of like. When did we start working? June. We started working, yeah, like June. June yeah, June. June, July. We made some good money. Cause some, yeah, we, yeah, good we money. was door dashing until then. Wait, I was door dashing like yeah, all you put me on that. Wait, that was good money. Door dashing too. It was good money. <laughs> Click boy. Jen was working in. Hey, we was working in uh what? Up in Marlboro? Yeah. Good bop, good bop for uh, me. Yeah. For me. Yeah. If you're from Montgomery County, you know how far up in Marlboro is. Boy, well, you're from his part of Montgomery County. It's, it's far for me too though. It's, 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 it's a good minute for me, but like. If you're from the north side of Montgomery, that's the that's the first time I've ever really said something like that. The north side. North, north from the north side. <laughs> if you from the north side of uh, the north side. Montgomery County, you know how far up in Marlboro is. But yeah, we was working there. Then no hoops, great hoops. Cool. Oh, Bacon Town. Very good hoops. Very good hoops, man. Yeah, shout out to Bacon Town. Definitely was hooping out there. Uh, is it any? We was out there in Laurel, like anywhere, man. Just hooping. Anywhere to find a gym, and that was before LA got shut down. Right. So I was hooping at LA a lot. Then, uh, what do you say? June podcast. Started the podcast. Podcast, podcast. definitely. Started. August, um, my birthday. The go. Anyways, um, <laughs> the goat, the goat. Yeah, and then we got the house in August as well. Yeah, we here. And then now we're here. We're so, here. 2020 has been very eventful. A yeah, lot. I mean, of course, we left out a lot of social justice issues, a lot of, and then we'll come to Black Lives Matter. Oh, a lot of yeah, stuff we, we did not touch on. Yeah, we can talk about that. Cause I feel like we are in touch Cause you know, even, you know, I don't, I don't know how much time we have, but you know, I was going, I had, we had talked about it. Like, you know, the difference between the NBA using their platform and the NFL using their platform. 
We all know certain things about the NFL. We don't, I, don't, I don't think we got to say too much. We ain't got to say nothing. We don't know nothing about the NFL. We do some research. We don't got to say too much. But they, I just, I, for me personally, real quick, I just don't like how they, you know, slap, you know, end racism in the end zones. And, you know, I don't mind the players, you know, trying to put the names on the back of the helmets. But we're not seeing that. We're seeing guys play football, which is cool. Hey, look, I love watching football. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, if you're going to have a message. Be more on, active. Come on, man. If you, you have a message on, on the field, you know, and on your helmets, like, do something. And I feel like that's where the NBA separated themselves as far as, you know, being Definitely. the D league to really pay attention Definitely. to. If you can take one thing from 2020 into into 2021, and it can be like a quote, just something you learn, you know what I'm saying? Just something from 2021 that you could take into 20. I mean, from 2020 that you could take into 2021. Um, personally, just making sure that you, you know, stay consistent. And you know, that's what people told us with this podcast. You know, we've been consistent doing it. Uh, but that's just anything, though. So, you know. Yeah, now consistency it's, applies to everything. That's like. everything. So, you know, now that we're here in the house, now it's like, okay, stay consistent. Go, you know, get in for work. Do your school, take care of school, you know, find a routine, make sure you stay clean. But that's that's part of like another resolution I want to have too. Like, you know, Definitely. make sure I, I want to get into like doing some like healthier stuff, healthier habits and stuff like that. So I just want to, you know, once I'm in there, stay consistent, you know what I mean? Just make sure I follow through with it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, once you say you're going to do something, you know, you got to stand on what you do. Stand, stand on that. And stand on what you say. That's what I'm, I'm going to do in 2021. Yeah, stand on that. How are you, how you coming? Uh, one thing I could take from 2020, um, sheesh, I don't know. I guess, I mean, it's going to sound cliche, but just like the pain mm-hmm. that I had, just turn that. Turn it into something. And not even pain like agonized, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But just like the but stuff you, I went through, yeah, that's just even on like a personal level, yeah. just everything I witnessed, the stuff that I went through with COVID, family, just everything around just... Yeah, just taking that to next year. It's just look, look what happened last year. It's New Year. Put that bottle on. Yeah, this. push. You gotta keep pushing. You gotta keep, you gotta pushing. keep pushing. Hell yeah, that's yeah. No matter what, like you can, she can get rough, and, and it got rough. Clearly, you know what I'm saying for the whole world. But you just gotta keep, you know what I'm saying. Find whatever it is, and we'll keep you going. And this too, but and I remember my mom always used to tell me like, if I was in like a bad spot of like, not even a life, but like, you know, in middle school, mm-hmm. um. She would always bring up like, oh yeah, you broke up with your girl, and she was like, you might want to think you want to kill yourself, blah blah blah. But she was like, don't don't ever think that. I mean, it's hard not to. I mean, not saying it's hard not to, but I understand why some people do. Mm. But at the end of the day, this too shall end. So that pain you feeling, there's gonna be a time in life or a time in the future where you do not feel that pain. Oh, yeah. So I always just keep that in mind can't, when I'm going through something. Can't waste the glory days. When you're down, on, when you're down bad, just know them days is coming. Them so that all them down bad days. It's gonna be worth the good that you're gonna have. I'm trying to tell you. So, yeah, that's the only thing I can take that's from right 2020. The world. And the 2021. The one and the 2021, two. where the money resides. <laughs> where the money resides. The show. Where the money resides. So, um, well, yeah, thanks for being with us because y'all was with us half of 2020. You know what I'm saying? Y- y'all was with us the first half. Oh, that's a what? half a year anniversary kind half of thing. Six month anniversary I, I, If I can hug y'all, I will. So I'm just hugging myself, you feel me? For y'all. You know what I'm saying? Much love to you, though. Because y'all gave us a lot of love. Oh, we, man. Because we, we haven't been doing this in a year yet. Right. We haven't. We have, we, have, we have not had a year put into this podcast. And the fact that, you know, Growth for twenty twenty for twenty twenty is gonna carry on in twenty twenty one. So we're gonna keep doing this, keep doing things, you know, trying to find ways to get better at podcasts. As long as, as, long as we're better thing. than where we are right now next year at this point. Let me say that again. As long as we're better than where we're at right now and next year at this point. That's all that matters. All that matters. All that matters. All that matters. And as long as y'all are still with us, we gonna still oh. love y'all. I'm gonna love you if you don't, if you aren't with us. You wanna know why? Cause that's gonna push me to do even harder, and I want to see you do good. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. No matter what you do, I always want to see you do good. Always. That's life. But hey, that's about it. Happy New Year's. All right, time. This is about, by the time I'll see this, it's gonna be. Yeah. So let's wrap for 2020. That's it. That's it. 2020 is over. That's it. It's over. <laughs> All right, uh, for sure. Uh, take care. Be safe if you're going. If you're doing something for real, you know, uh, have fun. Wear your mask. Wear your mask, though, please. No, no drunk driving. COVID. Uber. They say COVID is COVID still here. No drunk driving. You know, 
Let's just let them let them let them y'all. Continue. Let us know that we got. Let y'all know. Stay safe, please. Please stay safe. Please. Happy New Year's. Kiss your family for me. Everybody. Right. Tell, you know your what I'm saying? Tell your loved ones. Tell your loved ones. That you love them. Your loved ones. Tell your loved ones. And then we're going to end it like this. We're going to love, love, peace, peace. and hair grease. We out. <laughs>